dah. Doesn't make any difference, but we might as well have a nice finish in there. Of the compressor holding back on, you can see it moves basically anywhere you want. What I want to do is make the air go in up here somewhere in an angle so it creates swirl. So, sort of something like that. So, I need a hole cutting in here, mark it, put a round hole first, and then once I've got the round hole in, we can clean it. Just use a die grain that to make it the shape I want. A inch and a half tube, so I'll probably drill a, a one inch hole in there first and then go from there. That's going to work out quite nicely. So the air goes in that end, which is the primary zone, and there you have primary holes, and I think the extra territory or secondary. And then you add our usual holes in there, and we've got room, and we'll probably end up with more holes in there. Right, so we'll cut as we've got and try and get a hole into that. Stainless steel and tolerable stuff to work with, but uh, we'll give it a try. One thing you must do with stainless steel is try not to let it get too hot. Once it gets hot, it works hardens, and you have a hell of a job of doing it at all with it. This is uh, good stuff. Not much happening there, really, is that? Some cheap and cheery bangles, bangles, wool cutters here. Give them a try. are surprisingly good uh, how well they do work or the cost of them see I just want to get a hole in the starting point and then the die grain now do the job quite nicely after that Right, we're just about there I think. Done its job. If you cut out to one hole, they paid for themselves. 
Starting to look the part now that will be trimmed off once it's welded. What I'll do, I'll tack it in place and I'll put the end cover on and put an organ purge in it to weld it. Gaps aren't that bad, it's a reasonable fit. And that's the combustor nearly done. And then it's basically the old system to sort out, and it's, it's not that far away actually. Basically I've got all the ports blank off, that's blank off, that's blank off. I've got an organ feed running into the back of the composter. And, uh, and that's feeding the organ in to chase all the oxygen out from the inside. That way hopefully we're going to get a much better weld around here. Let's give it a second or two for the organ to do its job and fill things up. Carry on weld it. The fit looks like perfect, but it's not bad. It should weld quite nicely. Focus you bastard. Using the gas lens means I can have that much stick out of the tongue scoop so I can get in around the back of this flange here because it's pretty tight. That's very tight. There's the last little bit of weld around here. The combustor is now virtually finished. We need to concentrate a little bit more on the turbocharger. This is where the exhaust gas comes out. It goes into there, spins that, and comes out of there. There's a little valve that was on there. It's called a waste gate. And when the pressure in the system gets too high on a car or a truck engine, it opens a valve and lets exhaust gas out of here straight into the exhaust, bypassing the turbocharger turbine blade. Obviously we don't want that, we want that blanked off. That's the original piece that went on there. And there was a little lever arm on there and a little valve in there. So what I need to do is blank that hole off. I want to have a, a jet, what they call a jet peak coming out of there. I've got a, a suitable piece of 
stainless pipe, that's the sort of stuff I want coming out. So what I've done, I've been and burnt out a piece of plate that will go on there and blank that off. And all you need to do is transfer those holes from there into the plate and then we can merrily bolt it back together. Mark anything out, we can just use this as a template and drill straight through. Those make things as complicated as they need to be, and this is all that's required just a straightforward transfer the holes basically. One more. So that fits on there, lines up nicely, it can't be anything else. And a piece of tube will be welded into there and that will be the jet pipe. So I'll weld that round there. Once that bit's done, it's a frame to make, old system to sort out. And it's really getting pretty near now.
I'm probably going to drill that anyway and put a temperature probe in there to measure the exhaust gas temperature. It's easy to make one of these engines run like a jet. You see them on YouTube and the turbine wheel in there is glowing white hot. And you don't that kind of bastard when they're running that hot. Need to keep the temperature down to about 700 degrees centigrade. It makes it easier as holes out slightly, they're not, they're not bad. Just that one reel so it's on the tight side. That's not bad. Has pulled straight as well, but not much. It's tightening down all right. I may trim round here with the hand plaza one, I'm not sure. It make a greater difference really. I'll just see a little bit on weight. It's just a test rig so it doesn't really make a greater difference. I'm quite happy with that. I haven't done much in the workshop today. Uh, today has been quite a strange day. It's actually two years to the day since I lost my dad. It's amazing where the two years have gone. And I still do uh, miss him a lot. Uh, I'd like to give you a little bit of advice. Um, if your parents are still alive, go and see them. Just call in and say hello because honestly, you just never know. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And as always, a massive thanks for all the well wishes. Anyway. Thanks for watching.